Hey everybody, welcome back to the vlogs. Today is the second vlog of 2016 and I had a little buffer time where I was just kind of reorganizing myself for the new year. If you guys saw the last vlog, you know I got back from my cottage and I left my backpack there along with all my camera gear, but that was on purpose because my dad's gonna drive it all back because it didn't fit in our car, but I forgot my backpack, the one thing I was bringing that had my camera, except for this vlog camera which I had in my pocket with one battery. It had my all my other cameras, it had my laptop, my iPad, all my editing stuff, a bunch of hard drives. So I'm missing the intro to the vlog, I'm very sorry, but because it's on my laptop. And, um, yeah, so it's, it's kind of crazy, but yesterday I didn't vlog because I was working on getting up the other one. Because all those GoPro files my dad had to upload to Google Drive, which took about... 30 hours and then I had to download which was fast but it took like 30 hours to upload them all and then I had to edit them from there so it took a long time but anyways I'm back and it feels good I had missed out on vlogging ever since 2016 started and I'm hating it I'm so glad to be talking to you guys again well really I'm talking to a camera again which is a little weird when you think about it but you're there you're watching right now and I thank everyone who is without further ado let's open some boxes and I bet you didn't expect that or you did, because it seems like I'm unboxing in every single video I do. It's always like, unboxing time. So just like probably everything I ever unbox, I'm super excited about this. Because when do you open something that you bought and you're like, meh, like no, I'm really excited about this one. Possibly the most excited I've ever been in 2016. <laughs> I'm gonna set the camera down on this bottle of baby powder and let's unbox some things. So we're going to start with this. There's actually two packages, but I'm going to start with this smaller one um, because it fits in frame better. And this, what I am about to show you is something that has kind of been a dream of mine for a very, very long time. And I've had stuff close to this before, but also never like it, ever. This is for YouTube videos and this will improve them beyond my wildest dreams. I did not ever, ever, ever believe I could have this in my videos because when I started, it didn't even exist. It didn't matter what the cost was, it didn't exist. So, as we open it up, you will find a bunch of boxes. But as we remove one box, it says parts and components, little black box. It says parts and components and DJI.com. And on the back, Inspire One. I can see it already, you guys are like, whoa, that's so cool, but what does it mean? Well, if you don't know, DJI.com, or actually DJI is a company that produces, they produce this, this is, this is funny. Oh my gosh, I lost one of these to the back of a guitar amp, so I went to my music store just to get one of these uh, a couple weeks ago. <laughs> this is just a plug, just an AC cord. That's funny, the first box I opened was probably the lamest. Parts and components, here's another box. There's a lot of these, by the way. Yep, I know what this is. Wow. Okay, so this is a wind guard for screens. So you, you flip it open and it goes like this and it covers the screen so if there's a glare off the sun you can still see the screen. Still doesn't tell you much. I'm being elusive right now, hinting at what it is. Unless you already Googled it, then the joke is on me, and you already know. I don't need this box. This is like skin tight. Okay. Here's another thing. This one's a, a little bit, tells you a little more. This is a battery. A battery, ooh. A very weird looking battery, I'll give it that. But it is just a battery. This is a power adapter. So this is a really, really fast charger that will charge stuff specifically what I bought, really fast. Now, we moved away from the black boxes and we have some, some brown boxes. This says there's a lithium ion battery inside, so spoiler alert. It's a white box, it looks like it's from Apple. TB47 Intelligent Flight Battery. Did they just say flight? Uh-huh, mm-hmm. Oh, this isn't a battery. Remember this thing I said was a battery? This is the charging hub. So this thing actually can charge four batteries at a time. This is a battery, and I thought so. This looks a little different. I thought it was missing the, the top part, but this is a battery. That's a charging hub. 
These batteries are huge and each one of them lasts 15 to 18 minutes, which isn't very long. Everything is nicely packaged though. And here is one. One. Now this actually came free because of the Boxing Day sale. I bought this the day after Christmas. This came free with it, but this is... Oh, this is a battery. A very, very cool looking robot battery. This next box here is just another one. As you can see, just another. So I actually got one battery for this thing that came with it. Another one was came with it as a, as a free upgrade for Boxing Day, and then I bought two more, just so that I can use it for a really long time. Okay, last battery is out, and that's it for this box. Now we can move on to the big stuff. I got this box right here, so you're not actually gonna be able to see me, but you can see the box, and that's better probably. Cut all these. Okay, so we got this big void if damaged, which isn't damaged, so it's not voided. Okay, and now for the cool part, the very cool part, this. Uh, okay, in case you haven't noticed what this is yet, this is the DJI Inspire 1. Still don't know what that means? Well, I'll show you. Okay, so there's this lovely, lovely material on here, this, this cardboard that I don't want to ruin, but I think I actually have to rip it. Oh no, as you can see. You got the mystical quad. And now we should just be able to unzip it. Oh, it smells so fresh and beautiful. Bunch of stuff in here. So we have this thing, which is holding a micro USB. That's cool. That's why I need to charge this camera. We got the battery that comes with it, plus storage for three more. Actually, four more. You can store one in here as well. So, we can actually fit one in here, like that, and then you can go one, two, and three. So yeah, you can fit three batteries there, one in here. We have this thing, which, ah, the camera's in here. Very cool, we got the lens cover here, and this guy, which is the Zemus, the Zemus X3. Now, there actually is an X5, which, uh, supposedly is better, but it's better for uh, imaging and photography and a lot of stills and stuff since you it's got more uh, manual and dynamic focus and stuff, but um, the X3 is actually technically not as good, but most cinematographers and everyone just finds it's actually better for video and it's cheaper, so most people get the X3 because it actually is better. Okay, we also have this guy right here, very important as well. This is the controller. Now, I got the controller with the setup for the iPad, and yesterday my iPad mini came in, because I got a new iPad mini just for this. Don't worry, it was actually refurbished in, one of the, in the cheapest one you could get, but I wanted a small tablet, because I only have an iPad Pro, which is flipping huge, and it just it doesn't work on it, so I needed a small tablet to control the app and you can see the camera and there's just so much you can do with the tablet. And by the time you're spending this much on the drone, the tablet's like the price of one battery, so it doesn't seem that crazy to get one. You could actually also use an iPhone or anything. Most people say that Apple's version of the software works better, so I didn't want to use my Samsung phone. Okay, sweet. Here is the controller, very simple. Um, not too much craziness going on, which I love. Some stuff up here. Just want to put it down. USB and stuff for installing uh, more software. HDMI out for um, plugging it into an external monitor. This is your. Uh, this is the thing for the tablet. So this will actually hold my iPad, which I know for a fact I don't. I don't think it'll fit the iPad Pro. Yeah, see, it doesn't even go big enough for the iPad Pro. But yeah, that's the uh, that's the tablet or that's the controller which will be really cool. Set that down. In here are the blades, so they're Velcroed in here. In here we have more stuff. This is a strap for the control for the controller, so you can actually sling it around your neck or something. You don't have to hold it up and risk of dropping it. These are some stabilizers. I'm not sure if you need these for the camera or just if you want to hook up a GoPro to it, but you've got a tool, which will be really useful, and then some rubber stabilizers for wind and such. 
Yeah, a lot of crazy stuff. And they just updated a new firmware for this thing to run in cold temperatures. It could normally do minus 10 degrees Celsius, but I think it can do more now. This is your normal charger for the battery, not the, uh, the really fast one that I got, I'm pretty sure. This is just the normal power for it, for the charger. Not the fa super fast one, it's the normal one. And then another micro USB, unless, yep. I got two micro USBs, that's, that's pretty cool. Oh, wait, yeah, two micro USBs included. And then we have this thing. Gosh, there's a lot of stuff. And what lies in here? The dun, 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 manuals and stuff, that's cool. So in here we got the, the TB78. Attach this cover to the Inspire 1 battery when the flight environment temperature is below 5 degrees Celsius. Remove this cover when above. Great, how many of those do we get? One? Huh. So it's just, it's a cover that can be removed and added back on again. So I'm gonna have to just put that on every battery when I stick it in. Okay. Tells you everything that's in the box. There's English. Uh, quick start guide. Know your surroundings. Flying safely. I like this. I won't read that all to you, but you can read it. That's cool. Keep that for sure. And your quick start guide. I don't know how quick of a start you can get with this thing, but oh man. Oh, wow. I'm gonna set that down, read the quick start guide, probably tells you how to pick it up and put it down. Oh, forgot to take this out. The normal charger brick is still in there. All right, well, since this isn't a official unboxing, that's all I'll show you guys for now, but pretty chaotic. There's a lot of stuff that comes in here. Um, yeah, I'm gonna clean all this, but there's a lot of stuff in here. Uh, a lot of extra add-ons, and this thing's totally kitted out. I don't know if I'll get any flight stuff for it up tonight, um, especially because it's dark, so let me show you guys. Yeah, it's already pitch black, but I'll show you guys, like, tomorrow. I don't even know if I'll fly it tonight, but I'll try and get it set up. Yeah. Yes! Yes! Oh, watched a lot of videos. Figured it out going very, very slow. I figured out how to fly the drone! Woo! And... Yeah, I filmed it. It was dark out, but I got some pretty lights. Um, I'm not sure if it was the low light and the camera was glitching, or if it's just delayed on my iPad, so it's a little skippy. I don't know what the footage looks like. I'll show you it right now. Wow, I know, um, it might have been dark, I don't know, but hopefully you enjoyed that a little bit. Figuring it out and all, we got the iPad set up right there. We got this guy, which we'll turn off. There we go. That thing's beautiful. Now we can power off that guy. That's all off now. And that is the DJI Inspire. Feeling inspired? Are you feeling inspired? There, that looks pretty good. I mean, uh, it's like on there and it's... It's not gonna fall if you walk by and you push it, it's against that. It's not gonna fall and no one comes in here ever. So I'll keep it in there for now. Um, luckily, I actually have my dad's friend lives on the street and he owns one of them. And I, that's the first time I flew it was he let me fly it and I fell in love. But So he knows a lot about them. So 
I mean, I should be able to ask him any questions if he's got the answers. But dang, it's cold. It's flipping cold out. I had no gloves on because I was poking and prodding and reading instructions and gloves just got in the way, but my hands are so cold. Ah. Reorganized the guitar wall a little bit, actually. As you can see here, um, if you guys are new to the channel, I have a couple guitars. <laughs> Reorganized the wall, so we got Les Pauls there, SG's there, PRS, Fender, Firebird, Thunderbird, uh, hollow body, and then down here we have uh, my ESP Horizon because it doesn't fit on the, the wall hangers with the weird headstock. So it goes on a floor, and then I also have my acoustic. That Flying V is for sale, that's my cello. Amp, keyboard, bass amp, drum kit, mics, PA system, Another guitar amp, not a guitar amp, mini fridge. I actually took out my old guitar amp that used to be there, the bad cat, moved it up to the cottage um, with, so I can plug in uh, just some crap guitar I brought up there. Um, so I can have a guitar up there. <clears throat> a little update on that stuff. For those of you that care. I also snagged two of these because I haven't been able to find them in Canada ever since I got them. So if you're into the Nerf stuff, the new Alpha or the Alpha Trooper CS6 XD versions. Uh, I turned my only copy into a, the Canadian Trooper 2.0, but I did want some stock ones either to give away or just to keep. I didn't bring my camera to school today because I only had the one battery uh, and I wasn't sure what I was gonna film. But I'll charge it up tonight and then hopefully I can for tomorrow I can get you guys some some more stuff. Tomorrow's curling. It's Wednesday and I haven't been to curling. Oh my gosh, so long, just because I missed the last one being at my cottage and stuff. So yeah, I haven't been to curling in a while. I gotta clean up tomorrow. Did some homework tonight as well, which always takes time out of my day. Some homework. Um, watched some Roman Outwood, caught up on that. A lot of vloggers. Actually, I watched BF vs. GF. Um, gosh, what else did I watch? I don't know. But yeah, I missed like f f Roman's last four vlogs as I've missed my own. So I've just been so busy. But I missed Roman's last four, so I sat down on the big screen and watched them all front to back in order. It was so good. I'm just talking for the sake of talking now. Oh. Okay. It's been a while since I filmed in here. Gemma made me that, by the way. Uh, one of the Christmas gifts she gave me was she sewed this. She, she got the fabric herself. This is the other side, what it looks like. But this side is curling rocks. So how cool is that? Um, it's super warm. So that's, that's a nice addition. It doesn't actually fit my bed, but it fits me. So that's all I need. Uh, yeah, I gotta, gotta do some room improvements. Gotta put my posters back up because they're, they fall down once in a while. I also have two new calendars for the new year, which I don't know which one's gonna go where. Probably w either one in my office and one in my room or like one at the cottage one here. But I have American muscle cars. This is an American calendar, so it may be a little different. But yeah, because I love muscle cars. You guys probably know that. And then I have this one my mom got me, which is the Hedgehogs one. And it's just, it's pretty cute. I don't know where it's gonna go where. Also on the topic of room decorating, I got this sick lava lamp, which is flowing jelly. Flowing jelly jelly. Bloop, bloop, bloop. It looked like Mickey Mouse. I used to have a lava lamp um, in my room forever and it was green. It was like, like toxic green goo. And uh, I don't know why I got rid of it. The bulb died and it was just expensive to replace or something. I don't know, it got dingy, but um, new lava lamp, actual lava colors. And in the dark, it looks really cool. Like, check that out. Woo! Pretty cool, eh? So yeah, just some, some home improvements and such. Oh, but anyways, I'm gonna crash, guys, because it's 11 o'clock at night and for some reason, I have to go to school tomorrow. I guess I'm back in school. And honestly, honestly, I was, uh, I went to go do my homework and I thought about school tomorrow and I was like, hmm. And I thought about how busy today and yesterday were and tomorrow's a little bit more chill. And I'm like, I don't think we're doing too much in history. We're just kind of going over questions we were assigned today. And in English, I'm not really sure, but it can't be too hard. Math. I'm pretty sure we've learned everything new, like compound interest and simple interest. And in accounting, I just finished my summative. And I'm like, I think I could skip tomorrow. And then I was like, dude, it's your third day back. You can't already be skipping. Not skipping. Not skipping. 
I call it alternative education days because anytime I skip, I don't just like sleep all day. I do other types of work, like work on YouTube stuff and vlogs and videos and my, my, my real job. Um, so yeah, but I was like, can't skip school a third day and that's just so, so ridiculous. So I'm gonna go to school tomorrow, as much as it kills me. Oh, but anyways, for that, I'm going to go to bed right now. I hope you guys enjoyed, not too much. Um, I, I wasn't actually sure if I would get the drone up, so I thought I'd have more to vlog, but then I was just filling with the drone all night. But I did get some shots for you guys. Just keep an eye out for, it's that thing, thing shoots in 4K, so keep an eye out for all of the daytime stuff. I'm gonna shoot in the day, hopefully tomorrow. No, because it gets dark by the time I'm on a curling, but soon, guys. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. You know what to do, you're awesome. As always, this was Adam, signing off.